nobody is more devastated about this than I am. Yes. I personally executed Mr. Bell's mortgage agreement. I take enormous pride in being able to help people buy homes. And I was extremely gratified to be able to help Mr. Bell buy his, and I am deeply saddened for him to be losing it. Yes. Is it any consolation that you're the one taking it? I wanted this to work. We gave Mr. Bell a no money down, interest only two year arm at 2%. It was a fantastic opportunity. Mr. Chernak, I'm in a bit of a rush, so if you don't mind, I'd like to cut the crap. As much as you desperately want the best for Clarence, it seems that you've done him the very worst. You facilitated his buying a house he ultimately couldn't afford. You then continued to raise his rates. What was once 2% is now 12, with the balloon payment coming due. And in the end, it seems the bank gets all the money and the house. And instead of the best, Clarence gets nothing. I take offense to that. <laughs> This man wanted this property, and I made it happen for oh, him. Oh, my goodness. Let's hear it for Mr. Chernak, this year's MVP in the predatory lending Shh, department. I'm sorry. Is there a problem? No, no, no. Don't be silly. Just celebrating Mr. Chernak's success with this subprime mortgage scam you're currently offering. And you are? Alan Shore, representing the scammy. May we go to my office? Unless you're serving drinks with your apology and refinancing offer, I think we can settle this in court. Oh, I think before we get there, you'll want to do your discovery, which attorneys typically do. And you'll find, Mr. Shore, that this subprime debacle isn't just victimizing individuals, but lending institutions as well. In fact, over 160 major lenders have been put out of business. Many others, including us, are simply trying to survive. Our stock price has gone down almost 95%. 20% of the mortgages we hold are past due. The bulk of the others haven't had their rates reset yet. And in the next two years, it figures to get worse. But hey. Go ahead and sue us. That's what we need for a lawyer like you to come in and slap us around a little. Here's what I'm trying to do, Clarence. I'm trying to get inside your head. It's what I like to do. See, I find the best way to help people with a problem is to experience where they're coming from. That suits you okay, my friend? Oh, fine. Okay. Now, when Mr. Chernak explained this loan... He didn't really explain it. Well, you went to law school. Are you telling me that you signed a legal document without understanding it? Was it your client's intent to take advantage of him when it turned out he didn't, Mr. Palmer? I'm sorry, Melvin, I keep forgetting we're buddies. You know what you are? A hoot. With a capital H, that's what you are. Now, Clarence, you did understand terms like float and balloon and piggyback and... Hell, sounds like a birthday party, that's what that does. But you did understand that your adjustable rate floated with the prime, didn't you? I certainly had no idea the prime would go through the roof. Well, nor did the bank. And nobody expected the housing market to take a dive. I mean, we all got caught with our pants down on that one, didn't we, Al? I do my best work with my pants down, but then again, I'm the hoot with a capital H. That's what you are. Yeah.